This weekend, a surprising package arrived from Lumos, the new Ultra e-bike smart helmet. This was a limited deal after their recent Kickstarter for new bike lights. Now, this is a brand new product, so new that I couldn't find much info besides the basic launch webpage and details from the Firefly Light Kickstarter perks. I did send a list of questions over to Lumos this weekend, and I look forward to hearing from them. The Ultra e-bike helmet is a follow-up helmet to the Ultra Smart helmet that they launched on Kickstarter a couple of years ago. The Kickstarter price for the Ultra e-bike helmet was $249 US dollars. This came in one option with the MIPS fit inside, a remote, and charging cable. I haven't heard back on what the post Kickstarter price will be or when they will be readily available. The new Ultra e-bike helmet has NTA 8776 rating, which is for speed e-bike helmets or scooters up to 27 miles per hour. This isn't a big deal yet in the United States, but in some areas of Europe, it is. I have reached out to Lumos, as I mentioned, and some other helmet companies to better understand how this testing is done, which I'll work on for a follow-up video. The weight is much heavier at 530 grams compared to the base Ultra at 370 grams. This weight appears to be coming from the flip-up visor with lights built into the top rim, a more solid mold around the helmet with less foam showing. There is a larger battery inside, and then there's a Fidlock magnetic buckle, and as I mentioned, that MIPS fit system, which does weigh a little bit more. For lights, it has the same number of front and rear lights as the Ultra, but on the visor, there's gonna be white and yellow lights on the side top of the visor rim. Interestingly, when you sync this helmet out of the box with the Lumos app, it turns off the side lighting as it appears to have bothered some people. You have to turn it back on in the settings within the app. It comes with the basic Lumos remote to activate your left and right signals. If you want to use the automatic brake lights, you're going to have to upgrade to the fancier remote option afterwards. The battery is slightly larger at 1300 milliamps hours versus the 1100 on the Ultra. Lumos claims the same run and charge time for both helmets. I haven't been able to determine if the battery is replaceable yet, and this definitely is important to me for a $249 helmet. Hey folks, if you're finding this interesting at all, make sure to hit that like button below and leave a comment. It really matters to the YouTube system. All right, what makes this helmet special? Here's some of the main things I'm excited about testing in this helmet. The visor. This comes in clutch when you're riding in rain and winter weather, but also if you're just riding faster on an e-bike. Folks should have some sort of eye protection, either glasses or a visor like this. And the other thing I'm interested in on the visor is what it's like using these side lights built into the visor. Does it bother me? Does it cause any flares or problems with my glasses or the visor. I'm definitely interested that they turned it off with the latest update. The lights, brake light, and remote. How well do they work? How well do motorists understand them? And how much does this add visibility to my daily riding? How's the weight and fit? As you can see sitting on my head, it's fairly bulky. And while it's comfortable sitting here, the 530 grams is not something to bulk at. Compared to my daily use nutcase Vio at 394 grams, with a much more streamlined design. So how does this feel on longer rides? Do I feel like a nut? Do I look like a nut? Guess we'll find out if I am a nut. 
How useful is the app? I love tech when it is useful. How useful is a helmet app that connects to Strava and an Apple Health if it isn't taking my heart rate? I hope to be testing this out now, but they won't be turning these functions back on until early 2023. Durability. The light placement on this visor is very interesting for two reasons. One, it seems like the visor is the most vulnerable to be broken off. Additionally, if you scratch your visor, it probably isn't very easy to replace, if at all. All right, that was my summary as I unboxed the Lumos Ultra e-bike helmet with the limited info available online. What would you like to know about this helmet? Do you have the original Ultra helmet? How do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more content like this. Until the next video, stay well, stay good, and remember to bike more and worry less. Peace.